Hey guys, Xfox here, and this is going to be the unboxing of the uh, the Predator tracks here. Um, I guess right now they only have them for um, the, uh, well they have them, but very limited run quantities on these, and I think they only have the adapters made for the, uh, the SCX-10 at the moment. I think the other ones don't come out for a couple more months for the other cars. So, man, when I got these things, these things are really, really sweet here, I mean, I didn't think they were going to be this big, so I don't know if you guys can see that here. This is how they come actually in the box, so if you guys see here, they come in sets of twos. So it comes of course the track, and then on the track you go ahead and get the, uh, I'll take this out of here, you go ahead and get this uh, you know, little thing here, and this of course just locks into place here to make it look a little more scale and seal it up a little bit. The other one already came all done, let me put that on there. So that just goes on there like that. So they both come like this. I mean, these are, wow, these are really cool. Sort of fully functional little arms here. I know they sell the whole replacement kit for the wheels and the bearings and um, everything. And then, of course, you just pop pop the track on there. And I already did that on one of them just so, again, so you guys can see it here. Oh, these are real cool. We're going to see how these do. And I got two pairs, of course. So I got another one right here because I'm going to put the uh, put them on the front and the back um, of the SCX-10. So... Uh, just to give you guys a size comparison this thing, I mean, when you look at it online, I, you know, you couldn't really get an idea of how big these things were. So, here is a stock SCX-10 tire compared to this. So you can see, I mean, it's, it's almost just as high, and it's a little bit wider. So, again, very, very cool. Um, again, here's the size comparison, comparison to the SCX-10 tire. So, again, these things roll really, really smooth. And I'm going to see how they work out in, like, out in the, the mud and the dirt and stuff like that. I keep thinking these might flail off. And I'm trying to move it with my hand here. They don't really move much. So you can see this thing is really, really trick. Should you guys look up in there? Again, here's the size comparison uh, with the SCX-10 tire here. Very, very cool. So, yeah, hopefully this gives some of you guys out there an idea of, uh, you know, of what these things are like. I'm going to probably uh, go ahead and do... Actually, you know what? I'm going to show it right now. <laughs> So, on the SCX-10, you can't just buy these and uh, mount them up. You actually have to, whoa, you actually have to buy these adapters, too. So, you have to buy the, uh, the front adapter, which it looks like it has uh, some hubs as well as linkage. And, of course, you have to buy the rear hub adapters here. So, um, the rear hub number, of course, is Z like Zebra dash S like Sam 0613. And then the uh, the front linkage for the SCX-10 is Z like Zebra dash S0610. So you need both of these when you're doing the uh, SCX-10. I know they said they're going to get more or different types available, but not for a couple more months. But you can see this thing is really trick. It's a really solid piece of aluminum right here. Uh, very, very well built. So I'm going to see how they work on my car. Again, hopefully this gives some of you guys an idea of the stock size of these things. Again, a lot bigger compared to the um, to the actual stock wheel itself. A lot of traction here. So hopefully this gave some of you guys a good idea of what to expect. And thanks again.